Hey guys, Reed here. Today I'm going to walk you through an interesting scenario where we can see how to use a custom visual, which in this case is the play axis slicer that automatically rotates through a slicer selections at a timed interval and where we can hide that on a report tooltip page. So like you see here, you can actually have a tooltip where you hover that essentially has a slicer interaction effect where people can actually toggle through cuts of the data using the slicer. We'll also see here at the top where you notice that the title is also changing. So that's another thing that we'll explore. So with that being said, we're gonna see how to make all of this and let's go on ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So the design of this is fairly straightforward. I have a report tooltip that is built into this visual here, where as I hover over it, you notice that about every few seconds, I have it set to a three second interval. It is changing between the slicer selections on here where the title is reflecting sales by category and economy class. And then it switches over to the next one for regular. So we have a play axis slicer hidden on that page that essentially will toggle between different cuts of the data. Now coming over to the report tooltip page, we can see that I have my visual here on the main page. Now I'm gonna to go to view. I'm gonna open my selection pane and notice that there's a play axis slicer on here. So that is actually in the background and that is cycling through everything on the visual itself. So I do have that visible on the page and I'll mention why in a second, but this has my field of class, which has the regular economy, everything else. That is a visual downloaded from the app source store. So if you go to get more visuals and look for play axis, this one over here, it's a very useful custom visual that will allow you to have a dynamic slicer. So you can add it, it's free. That's how you add it to the report page here. Now coming back to the report itself, Let's go ahead and look at the settings. Now, all I've done is I've gone to animation settings. I've chosen auto start and loop. So we'll continually cycle through all of those. I chose a three second timing. You can choose to increase or decrease that as desired. But the one important thing that's essential to mention is it has to be visible. I found out that if I actually hide this, it does not auto start, at least in the tooltip settings. So I did explore the options of adding that to the page, but all you essentially need to do is to make sure it's behind another visual and that this visual has some type of a background color turned on over under effects, which will ensure that it covers up the other visual for that play axis, which then coming back to the report page will ensure that as you hover over these, you'll get that effect where as it slowly starts to cycle through, there we go. All of those slices selections come through. So it is a way to have some type of an interaction be applied and a slicer selection be applied. And like a lot of these other great inspirations that I have for videos, it came through from a client scenario where a client really wanted to know, how can I filter in a report page tooltip? And my first suggestion was to use a drill through page, but then I thought, well, how can we automatically filter at some type of a timed interval? Because he wanted to show too much information on the page at the same time. So I wanted to see if there was a way to cycle through that. And I came up with the idea of using the play axis slicer. So I am appreciative of that client and being able to identify this and help me get through it so you know who you are. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments or if you have any suggestions for other videos. Otherwise, up here in the upper left, go ahead and check out some of the other recommended videos that I have. And as always, please make sure to either comment or hit that like button or subscribe button if you enjoyed this content or other content on my channel. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.